These snakes can start to become active above ground by late spring. They can seem during the day and night, but mostly sit in the cooled position ready to strike at prey. These snakes live in a wide variety of different habitats from swamps, rivers, floodplains, hardwood, and pine forests, mountainous areas, and rural habitats. Not found in areas that are high, have high concentrations with people, such as subdivisions. The, they are large, heavy-bodied snakes with rattles at the end of the tail. Adults range from 30 to 60 inches, with the record being more than 6 feet. Timble rattlesnakes are normally more brown or yellowish, <clears throat> may even be black. Both forms of, have a solid black tails that appear almost velvet and black with black chevrons on their back and sides. With the point of the V pointing forward, the babies are usually in a lighter gray color. Timble rattlers are not protected or being endangered or wiped out. Their primary foods are rodents, rabbits, squirrels, and birds. The natural predators of these snakes are hawks, bobcats, skunks, snakes, snake-eating snakes. The timber rattlers are the third largest venomous snake in the U.S. and is one of the nor North America's most dangerous snakes due to its impressive size, long fangs, and high venom yield. However, the species is rel relatively mild in disposition and long hibernating periods mean that they aren't very many bites. The symptoms include local pain, swelling, nausea, vomiting, stomach cramping, and diarrhea and muscular spasms. Water moccasins have large triangular heads with a dark line through the eye, elliptical pupils, and large jowls due to venom glands. They can be found in nearly all freshwater habitats, but are most common in cypress swamps, river floodplains, and heavily vegetated wetlands. Cotton mouse will venture over land and are sometimes found far from permanent water. Fish and frogs make up the main diet of these snakes. Birds of prey and king snakes are what eats these water moccasins. And no, they are not on the decline. The way they contribute to the environment is by keeping down the population of some amphibians and frogs that are overpopulated. They live anywhere from Virginia down to Florida and over into Texas. The venom is toxic and can be deadly. However, in most cases, a fatality is not common. The eastern diamondback rattlesnake is the largest of 32 species of rattlesnake currently recognized. They are large, heavy-bodied snakes with large, broad heads and two tight lines on the face. This species usually inhabits dry, sandy areas, palmettos, or wire grass, grass flatwoods, pine woods, coastal dune habitats, or hardwood hammocks. They generally avoid wet areas, but sometimes live along the edge of swamps. They are accomplished swimmers and even travel through salt water and from barrier islands. The main diet of the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is rats, mice, squirrels, and other household pets. The main predators of the snake are hawks and king snakes. Their contribution to the environment is that they are national, natural exterminators. They, do, they are not endangered. Coral snakes eat lizards, frogs, and other small snakes, including their own species. Birds of prey and other snakes eat coral snakes. The way they contribute to the environment is by being exterminators and eating pests. They live from the coast of North Carolina over into Louisiana and down to Florida where they are most prevalent. No, they are not native to our region of Georgia. Their venom is very toxic and can be fatal to humans and pets. However, they have no fangs and therefore would have to chew on their victim to inject it with venom. This snake is only 14 to 22 inches long and both subspecies have a row of mid-dorsal spots and a bar that runs from the eye to the base of the mouth. But the color of the spark can vary from the eye to the base of the mouth, but the stripe is also present. In young snakes, the tip of the tail is a sulfur yellow. These snakes are located, these snakes are native to our region of Georgia. They are called pit vipers because of the facial pits that are located between the eye and the nostril. These pits are heat sensitive and capable of detecting tiny temperature differences. The head is broad and triangular and the tail ends in a small rattle. The pygmy rattlesnake produces venom that is strongly hemorrhagic and is tissue damaging, but it does not have any neurotoxins in it. The hemotoxic venom causes the breakdown of blood cells in the bruising and internal bleeding. Due to their size and unable to produce much venom, they have small fangs, so it's unlikely to deliver a fatal bite to an adult human. These snakes eat small mice and small rats, small squirrels and birds, and other reptiles like lizards, frogs, and toads, and even other snakes. They might also eat insects like centipedes and spiders as well. Copperheads are fairly large snakes, ranging from 24 to 40 inches, and they are heavy-bodied with large triangular heads and cat eyes. The body is tan to brown with dark hourglass shaped crossbands down the length that are broken along the center of the back. The head is solid brown and there are two tiny dots in the center of the top of the head. Babies are similar with a bright yellow tail. As pit pipers, they have facial pits that sense heat and are used to protect them from predators. Copperheads are carnivores eating mice but also small birds, lizards, and small snakes and amphibians and insects. They are primarily ambush hunters, subduing their prey with venom and swallowing it whole. Their venom is poisonous, however, in most cases, 
It is not lethal to humans. The black racer, also known as an Alabama black snake, have large, smooth scales, large eyes, and often have the same white coloration under their chin. The belly is generally uniform, dark gray or black. Adult racers can be mistaken for any of the other large black snakes in presence of our region, including black rack snakes. Racers have a habitat. Racers are habit generalist and can be found in nearly any habitat in the southeast. However, they are the most abundant in the edge of habitats such as forest edges, old fields, or wetland edges. They are also found in moderately disturbed or agricultural habitats. They eat rats and other small mammals. Birds of prey are their main predator. The way they help out is by exterminating small rodents that are pests. Yes, they are native to our region in Georgia throughout the southeast, and no, they are not venomous. Eastern ribbon snakes are found throughout the eastern U.S., but are absent from much of the Appalachian Mountains. Ribbon snakes are semi-aquatic and are frequently found at the edges of lakes, bogs, and salt marshes. They eat small fish and amphibians. Weasels, large fish, and birds of prey are the main predators of ribbon snakes. Yes, they are native to our region of Georgia, and no, they are not venomous. This species is protected throughout the state of Georgia. The mud snake is a large, non-venomous, highly aquatic snake that is seldom seen because of its secretive habitats. They have small, dark eyes and often have some yellow coloration on the head. The scales are smooth and shiny, and the anal plate is divided. Young mud snakes resemble adults, but their red coloration extends farther up the sides, at times giving them a banded experience. Mud snakes are found in a variety of aquatic habitats, including seasonal wetlands, ditches, Carolina bays, cypress swamps, marshes, and slow-moving streams in the heavily vegetated margins of lakes and ponds. Their main diet are tadpole frogs and fish. Large fish and birds of prey are the main predators of the mud snake. The main thing they do for the environment is eat frogs and small amphibians that might be overpopulated. This species is protected throughout the state of Georgia. Their need for the aquatic habitat and amphibian prey may put them at risk as wetlands are destroyed or degraded. The eastern king snake is found in all areas of Georgia and South Carolina. They thrive in many habitats including hardwoods and pine forests, bottomlands, and swamps, hammocks, tidal wetlands, and even farmlands and suburban areas. This species is strongly terrestrial, but inhabits areas close to water such as stream banks and swamp borders. They are quite secretive and are frequently found under boards, tins, or other cover objects. In our region, king snakes are active and almost exclusively by day, but are most active in the morning during the summer. They are strong constrictors and consume a variety of prey, including snakes, lizards, rodents, birds, and especially turtle eggs. King snakes are resistant to the venom of pit vipers, and they readily eat copperheads, cottonmouths, and rattlesnakes. Eastern king snakes are protected throughout the state of Georgia, but not in other parts of their range. However, Concern has been expressed by some of the herpetologists that this species is declining in some areas of the coastal plain and in Florida. Although king snakes remain common in many regions, in some regions where they were once abundant, they have recently near disappeared. The cause of these declines are unknown, but habitat loss and de degradation Imported fire ants or disease are potential causes. Scarlet snakes are one of the three tricolored snakes in our region. And like the harmless car scarlet king snake, they have red bands that do not touch yellow bands. However, the species can be distinguished from the scarlet king snake because the king snake's bands are completely or nearly completely encircling the body, while the bands of the scarlet snake do not extend onto the center, leaving the underside solid white, pink, or grayish. Scarlet snakes generally have a snout that is pointed red, that is pointed in red and red bands that are wider than the bands of the other colors. Young resemble adults. In our region, they are found, but the mountainous regions of North Georgia and Northwest South Carolina. Scarlet snakes are adept burrowers and prefer forest habitats with dry sandy soils. They are frequently found in pine forest and sand scrubs habitats. Like the other harmless tricolored snakes in the U.S., the pattern of the scarlet snake has been proposed to mimic the venomous coral snake, presumably discouraging predators. The scarlet snake are generally common in our region and are not protected throughout most of it. The species are protected throughout the state of Georgia. Although fairly slender, coach whips are among the largest snakes in our region, reaching over 8 feet. Their coloration is very distinctive, fading gradually from black on the head to tan or nearly white on the tail. The proportion of black to tan varies across our region and individual into southern Georgia and Florida can be nearly completely tan. The pattern of scales on the tail resembles a braided whip 
giving the snake its common name. Cotrips have large eyes and excellent vision. Cotrips are found throughout the southern United States, from southern, from southeastern North Carolina to central California. Cotrips are most common in open habitats with sandy soils. Preferred habitats include open pine forest, sandhill scrub habitats, coastal dunes, old fields, and prairies. They are also occasionally found in modified habitats such as power line right-of-ways and agricultural areas. They eat a wide variety of prey including insects, amphibians, lizards, snakes, birds, and rodents. In many areas, lizards are particularly important prey and coach whips are even able to chase down race runners and skunks. Coach whips mate in the spring and females lay up to 24 eggs in early summer. Eggs hatch in the late summer or early fall. They are protected throughout the state of Georgia. Worm snakes are brown snakes with smoothie, shiny scales, tiny eyes, and a pointed tip tail. The body is generally light to dark brown on the dorsum and the pink white below. The belly coloration often extends slightly onto the sides of the body. Juveniles resemble adults in coloration. The eastern species is common to the Piedmont but is also found in small numbers in the mountains of the coastal plains of South Carolina. It is absent from the coastal plains of Georgia. Worm snakes are seldom far from federal habitats and are generally most common in deciduous woodlands. Like other small foracial snakes, the species is most often found in rotting logs under rocks or on loose soil or under leaf litter. Worm snakes feed almost exclusively on earthworms and probably f fall prey to a variety of birds, mammals, and other snakes. They probably Made in the fall and the spring, and females lay up to 12 eggs in the early summer. Although they're harmless to humans, the species will often press their pointed tip tails to their captor. Worm snakes are common in our region and not protected throughout most of it. The species is is protected throughout the state of Georgia. Rat snakes are more northern in distribution and are characteristically black on top with a faint hint of white between some of the scales. Rat snakes are found throughout every southeastern state in most of the eastern and midwestern states as far north as southern New England and southern Michigan. Rat snakes occupy a wide variety of habitats including rocky timbered hills, hardwood forests, river floodplains, and swamp margins. They are commonly found in abandoned buildings and barns and are often the most common large snake in suburban areas. Adult rat snakes primarily eat mice, rats, squirrels, and birds as well as bird eggs. They are a common predator on wood duck eggs. Juveniles eat small frogs, lizards, and small rodents. Rat snakes are constrictors and adept climbers that can scale brick walls as well as tree trunks. When frightened, they often assume a kinked posture and remain motionless. They will vibrate the tail and expel Myelodorus musk. Rat snakes are very common in the southeast and are not protected throughout most of it. This species is protected throughout the state of Georgia, though. The rough green snake has a has bright green color, easily distinguishes from all the other snakes in Georgia and South Carolina, but are similar to the smooth green snake that replaces the species in the Appalachian Mountains in the northeast region. Rough green snakes have keeled scales and large eyes. After, after death, the color of the green snake fades to blue or black, and dead individuals may resemble small black racers. Young green snakes resemble adults. Rough green snakes can be found in a variety of habitats and are mostly common in open forest and edge habitats. They can be particularly abundant along the margins of wetlands and rivers where they search overhanging vegetation for insects. The rough green snakes are probably the most abnormal snakes in our region and spend the majority of their time hunting for insects, spiders, other invertebrates, and vegetation as uh, well above the ground. When encountered, the green snakes freeze, relying on their green coloration for camouflage. At night, the rough green snake can be found sleeping in coil shrubs, vine tangles, or thick vegetation. The rough green snakes are generally common in our region and are not protected throughout most of it. They are protected throughout the state of Georgia. Anecdotal evidence suggests that the species may be declining in some areas, particularly southern Florida. Banded water snakes are mid-sized snakes ranging from 24 to 48 inches. Coloration is variable with snakes ranging from light brown or reddish to black in ground color with darker crossbands. Crossbands are larger on the middle of the back and narrower on the sides. These snakes are found along the coastal plain of the U.S. and are near water. They are active during the day, and at night they can be seen basking on logs or branches, overhanging the water, or foraging for fish or small organisms that are in the water. 